Hello and welcome to our next video. In this lesson, we are going to simulate a developer making changes out of GitHub and ultimately getting those changes locally into our repository. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is pretend and kind of simulate here that another team member or team has made some changes that got merged. So to do this, we're gonna cheat a little bit and we're just gonna go directly to GitHub and we're gonna open the file for modification right here inside of GitHub. And obviously this is not something you would wanna do on a regular basis, but it just makes it very easy to simulate a change for the purposes of learning. So this change was added by another team. So we'll go ahead and just commit the changes directly to the main branch. And once that's in place, we'll see that our code does have update any file.txt as the name of that. It has four commits, which includes the update any file 11a2a. And if we go look at the code, the readme hasn't changed, but the any file.txt does have that code in it. So once the code has been simulated to be added, we want to get our repository open in Visual Studio Code, which I still have open, open from the last video. But in case you didn't, you know, make sure you get Visual Studio Code open to the most recent version of the repository. If you run a get status, it'll strangely show that you're up to date with, and up to date with origin main. Now that's because it doesn't know any changes have happened. So you can run a git pull at this point and it would bring all the changes down and you'd still be up to date, but you would get the new changes. And what's interesting and confusing sometimes to a new Git developer is that the git fetch command allows my local machine to know that my local repository is out of sync with what's at GitHub, but doesn't actually modify the change. So let's do that first. We'll do a git fetch. Now the git fetch command will just tell us that, hey, there's an update to main. It's moved from commit 1E0A9C1 to commit 11A2A36. So even though my file here hasn't changed locally, now if I do a git status, it will tell me that my branch is behind origin main by one commit because it knows by having done the fetch command that there is a change. So what I wanna do is a git pull. Once I do the git pull, that will do what's called a fast forward merger. Basically just move my commit chain forward one commit and my git status says I'm up to date with origin main and I do have the code added by the other team. Now, of course, this is a very simple change done in a scenario where there wasn't a conflict. Later, we'll learn how to do some conflict resolution and do uh, some more advanced scenarios as we move through learning about branches and advanced commands down the road. So for now though, assuming that we're just doing simple changes and working on our own code by ourselves. This would be very easy. We can easily fetch and pull our changes and likely won't ever have any merge commits. And at least is enough to get us started. That's all there is to making sure that we have the most recent version of code at our local repository that exists in the remote repository when the changes don't have any problems. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.